students welcome to vedantu i hope you all are doing very well i am sonalika and i have completed my graduation from biotechnology and today i am here and i am going to uh, teach you class 8 science chapter 8 that is cell okay so before we are starting our class i want to motivate you all with a very beautiful quotation that is you can't change your future but you change your habits and your habit will change your future okay uh, with this beautiful line let's start our class our topic is cell introduction look at this picture this is the picture of a cell okay and this is microscopic picture so what is cell can you define cell so cell is our basic structural and functional unit of life what do you mean by this line structure means our entire body or our entire body structure is made up of cell okay and functional unit means uh, as we know our body perform different functions like digestion excretion respiration so etc and uh, this this is done by different types of cell okay now moving to the discovery of cell who discovered the cell can anyone tell me yes Uh, cell was discovered by robert hook in which year in in 1665 okay as you see in this slide uh, uh, he discovered cell on a section of cork by his self made microscope okay now moving to our next slide that is sub cellular structure of a cell there are lots of sub cellular structure present inside this cell that is cell organelles like mitochondria lysosome uh, er that is endoplasmic reticulum golgi bodies and they perform different function, functions inside this cell okay and also there are cell membrane present and nucleus is also present there are two types of cell present uh, first one is first one is plant cell and next one is animal cell okay plant cell and animal cell what is the major difference between plant cell and animal cell so major difference between the plant cell and animal cell is plant cell have cell wall but animal cell does not any cell wall okay this is the major difference between these two now moving to our next point that is vacuole vacuole are larger in size in plant cell but smaller in size in animal cell lysosome are absent in plant cell and present in animal cell do you know how plant have green color because chlorophyll one pigment which is present inside the chloroplast in the plants due to this plant have green color okay but it is absent in animal cell okay so this this is the major difference between plant cell and animal cell and there are lots of similarities between these two uh, such as nucleus is present in both plasma membrane is present in both and the cytoplasm is present in both okay so uh, next topic we will discuss in our upcoming classes so that's all for today's class i hope you enjoying the class okay Uh, okay bye bye uh, take care thank you